Deputy Martin on leaders' questions, please. For, for, for that clarification in relation to standing orders, just before I start, could I, um, on my own behalf, on behalf of the party, uh, express our deepest sympathies to the family of the of late Rory Kylie, the former Cahir League of the Shannon, who passed away this morning, a very popular member of this House and uh, a legend in GA administration, chairman of the Limerick County Board. He'd be, you know, in many ways, this could be Limerick's year, uh, um, and they're doing very well. Uh, and he was enjoying the summer, uh, summer's hurling uh, in, in that regard, the former chairman of the Munster Council as well. So, I know we'll have later opportunities to pay more longer tributes. Tishuk, the Irish public have been genuinely shocked at the um, cervical check scandal and the treatment of the women at the heart of that particular scandal in terms of non-disclosure, uh, in particular women being forced through the courts. And without the bravery of Vicky Phelan and Vic Mahuna and others, um, we may never have known the full extent of what, of what transpired. The drip drip release of uh, information from the Department of Health, from the HSE, from for cervical check via the Public Accounts Committee and the, the Health Committee compounded that sense of shock uh, and, and indeed anger. And promises were made, Taoiseach, perhaps in haste, in terms of a redress scheme that hasn't fully been realised, support packages, uh, mediation which would avoid people having to go to court. We now learned this morning that a fourth woman is in court who is very ill and is before the courts uh, on, on this very issue, and a scoping inquiry that would conclude at the end of June. Now, the progress report produced yesterday by Dr Gabriel, Gabriel um, Scali Taoiseach uh, will add to that anger and to that frustration, particularly in relation to the manner in which documentation was released by the various bodies, the Department of Health, the HSE, so vital check. The manner in which it was released, over 4,000 documents within two days, between the 6th and the 8th of June, and provided um, documentation was provided you know, in, in a format which was essentially unsearchable, according uh, to Dr Scally. And he said it's disappointing and unclear why documents that would originally have been prepared in electronic format are not available to the inquiry in that um, format. Now that, I think, T-shirt will add to the anger that people uh, have already in relation to this and the sense of shock. And remember, the Minister himself was told very late in the day about the Vicky Feeling case, um, and the, we learned ver very late about this, the substantive and intensive negotiations and discussions between all of the bodies for over two years on this issue. So it follows um, a pattern. Dr Scali is now saying he'll conclude by the end of the summer. I have doubts, Taoiseach, as to whether he will or not, given the terms of reference and given the amount of work that he has to do. So what I want to find, the Doyle is adjourning on the 12th, which I don't agree with. I think we should consider that. I want to ask you, Taoiseach, um, if um, you would consider now cutting to the chase and essentially rolling the um, Scali inquiry into a commission of investigation. Uh, because we're now looking potentially at a commission of investigation starting up in November, uh, if we're lucky, uh, at the current rate of progress. Uh, and I think uh, putting Dr Scally and his team on a statutory basis in the format of a commission of investigation might be the most effective way to give teeth to ensure there's no more messing and no more um, withholding of documentation uh, and the kind of stuff that's gone on so point. far. Um, Taoiseach, the problem is that it's going to take a lot longer now. And I'm just curious when you use the frame while it's intended to set up a commission of investigation. Are you committed to setting up a commission of investigation or not? Because we need to know that. The Dr Scally's report talks about it may be established, whereas the foreword talks about his work as a scoping inquiry uh, prior to the establishment of a commission of investigation. Because you're going to get, uh, in my view, you'll end up, it seems to me, from some of the and I have great time for Dr Scully, I don't know the man, but he's working very earnestly and so on. But a statutory inquiry gives teeth, and there's a pattern here. I mean, your own minister didn't know what was going on about this issue because he wasn't told. We know the public accounts had to drag fairly basic documentation from the department and the HSE. In other words, officials have been discussing this for two years, and yet that couldn't have been 
that couldn't be made available to the, to the Oireachtas or to the Minister uh, until public accounts forced it out of them. We now have 4,000 documents that have been sent over in two days in an unsearchable format. Does, not, does that not ring alarm bells, Taoiseach? And we do need to consider it, and I would ask you to consider it, whether Time it up, could be more effective rolling it into a statutory commission rather than waiting until next November, December, where we get Time the end of up, this deputy, and we're into please. a commission after that.